if all you did was keep the same exact program and mess with those variables, you can still get some really, really significant gains. This first one came from Rosie, and this is, um, so what she had said to me, it's essentially, um, you know, what, what small tweaks can I make to my program? Um, what she was telling me about is that she'd been enjoying her program. She'd been getting good results. She likes how she feels going through everything, but she has stopped progressing. She doesn't want to completely upend her program. She doesn't want to make, um, any like massive changes because she's still kind of new in the gym. So she doesn't want to like completely, you know, just like from scratch the program more or less. So let's say you've got a program that you really like. It's one that you've progressed well with. Um, it's one that you've gotten good results with. You enjoy it. You feel good. You don't feel like you got hit by a truck the next morning. What kind of changes can you actually make that's still going to allow you all of those things but maybe push you a little bit further. Because that, that was one of her goals was she still wanted to see some more gains, but not make, you know, not have like a brand new program basically. So the nice thing is this is actually really simple. There's there's so many different uh, so many different little variables as far as your program goes that you can change that will make an, an old stale program feel like something completely brand new. I mean, it, it like I'm gonna go down this list and I'll, I'll explain them a little bit more, but I mean you can't, I should have wrote these down beforehand because I know I'm going to forget some, but I mean, you can change with your rest times. You can change your tempos. You can change your range of motion. You can change um, the speed, which is still kind of tempo, but you know, you can go like really, really explosive. Um, you can do pauses, which again are another form of tempo or negatives, another form of tempo. Um, you can, um, God, what else? Oh, you can add bands and chains or all these different things and like that's that's what's so nice about about understanding what your goals actually are is that you can play with these things and you i mean truthfully you could probably have the exact same program for a year and just mess with those variables oh and obviously you can mess with like your reps and sets and weight that i figure goes without saying but i mean if you if all you did was keep the same exact program and mess with those variables, you can still get some really really significant gains. And I mean, are you gonna you know like hop on stage or have some you know like life tra- life changing transformation? Not necessarily, but I mean, if you follow a program like that and just make some small tweaks here and there, you can you can create a pretty pretty significant change. I mean, I don't want to like put a number to it, but I mean like. You definitely wouldn't recognize yourself after a year just by following any kind of program and making some small tweaks here and there. So think about it like this, you know, are you, let's just say for simplicity's sake, your program is just you squat, bench, and deadlift uh, three days a week, and that's all you do. It could be as simple as instead of doing, you know, three sets of eight to 12, you do five sets of five. So the reps are lower. You can probably lift some more weight on those. Boom, there's a new stimulus. Or you uh, are going to control uh, you know, the rest time. So instead of resting for, you know, a minute and a half or two minutes or three minutes or whatever you're doing, you're only resting 30 seconds. God fucking help you with those squats, but let's say you did it. You're going to notice a change in that regard. You're going to notice, um, you're going to notice your endurance probably goes up. You're going to notice your oxidative capacity is probably going to go up. You're going to notice different kinds of changes that might not necessarily be physical. Or let's say you just mess with some tempos. So you really, really load the eccentric portion or the negative portion. And um, for those of you who don't know what those are, eccentric, think of um, a squat when you're going down, a bench press when the bar is coming down to your chest, or a deadlift when you're lowering the bar back to the ground. So let's say you just controlled those. Well, eccentrics or negatives are one of the most effective ways to actually break down muscle fiber quickly um, so that you can, in theory, assuming you're eating and recovering right, um, build more muscle quicker. So just these small things can take a stale program and make it essentially completely brand new. So Rosie, I hope that one helps you out. Uh, hey guys, if you like this clip, please share this out to someone else who needs to hear it. And if you want to hear more, there's actually a whole podcast and a whole YouTube channel. So you can go find us at Pride Fitness and Movement on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, wherever you find your podcasts. Go give us a follow and we'll see y'all later.